This content was produced prior to the recent SAG after strike authorization. Is that not the best mocktail that you've ever had? It act- it's getting better and better. Really, I truly. love that. I, I, I actually like this taste of tequila and I don't like the taste of alcohol. It's ritual. It's a ritual. And they did not sponsor us yet. Mm. <laughs> um, I'd like a glass of alcohol, please. Yes, but it's it's got other things. It's got some pear juice and mm. some fresh mint and some, some really mint. cute little uh, balls of ice. Oh, yes, yes, Christine. <laughs> Christy, they're little t- you can't see them but they're so cute little they're tiny so cute. circular I- but you, here's cubes. the thing about me and why I'm so extra is you, you you can't see them but you know they're there yes exactly and that they're was- making me far happier than I than I ever thought I would be you guys before we started Christy looked me right into the eyes and asked into my eyes and asked mm. me if I had brown eyes gorgeous gorgeous I'm like are you joking you're looking at me right now <laughs> speaking of bartending uh, and, and drinks yes have please have you ever bartended to have, have you mm. ever had a I've certainly oh, dated my. bartenders oh yeah <laughs> Ocean. I'm with Ocean. the bartender. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Awesome. That was not fun. Did you ever work a nine to five though? Anything like that? I did the craziest, craziest stuff. People, oh God, stop it, stop it. Is there something on my face? <laughs> Annalisa. Annalisa, where's your mint? Mm. I was going to eat it. Mm. I was going to eat I grow your mint. mint. <laughs> do you really? I do, I grow mint. That's like the easiest thing to grow. Mm. Did you know that? No, it's uh, not. No, it's not. You're doing great. The judgment. No, sorry. You're the, doing great. The judgment. No, no. Sorry. You're doing no, I great. love you too. We're doing great. We're doing great. So get this. Yeah. I actually worked for Disney. I had a cast badge that said my name on it. Are you ready for this shit? So at Disneyland, girl, at ABC Studios, like as a PA or something. No, as like a receptionist. Oh wow! I need to That's get into it. That's a great it. way to get in, right? <laughs> You tell go, you. Sorry, started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. No, no, no. This was after even Steve, after all the things. Oh, I love that even more. So get this. Yes. I went back to college mm-hmm. and I was studying, um, I don't know, I d- really didn't want to act at the moment. Yes. I didn't you, know you what I was went, doing. You ca- casually went back to Columbia. <laughs> just, well, because they let you do that for professional leave reasons, but it was, you know, years after Bell. And I was yes. like, kind of just like, okay, I ne- I'm now back in LA. I need some college credit. I happened to be there for the summer mm-hmm. and I was going back to college. Mm-hmm. And again, college credit. And so I applied and got in to the Disney internship program. And I was literally a cast member. And then they would make me do receptionist stuff. And all the executives from ABC Studios would show up to go to their meetings. They were like, what? They're like, don't I know you? you And not only was it demoralizing, Mm -hmm. but I was not good at my job. That's I was surprising. not good. Like things would ring and I would be like, oh, oh my God. Multitasking before being a parent, I'm sure is very difficult. I can't <laughs> multitask at all. That's so funny about the embarrassment thing though, you know? Oh the, yeah. The, I, I worked at um, in New York at several restaurants, Salvation Army, or excuse me, Salvation Burger, Salvation Taco, several, Tavern on the Green, several restaurants as a You server. worked at Tavern? I worked at Tavern on the Green for about a year. Wow, that's several a Several restaurants, time. yes. Thank you, I know. I was really proud of myself. And you had to do a lot of multitasking, but the- um, the disappointment, the look, the drop of faces when they'd recognize me was mm. was truly gut wrenching. I, I, it's almost like I had to say, "I'm okay." Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm actually really happy that I don't have to audition and that I'm doing something that I know I'm good at. I know when I clean a table or bring a meal that I can do that. Yeah, and there won't be any mistakes. Yeah. I won't be judged. Essentially, yeah. I kind of was judged, but yeah, I remember one time I ran into Ashley Tisdale. Oh lord, and I had to this? serve Ashley Tisdale. And oh my god, yeah. are you fucking kidding me? No. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to say she was lovely, but. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I'm pulling myself away from the microphone right now. She didn't do anything, but she was uncomfortable for me. I I, I, I would have given you the fattest fucking tip. Oh yeah, well you would have been like, oh my God, hi. She was so uncomfortable. It was like, I had to, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with Ashley. I'm fine, girl. I grew up with Ashley. I don't know her anymore. I, I don't know her anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure that was t- these younger kids that came after mm-hmm. us with Disney. Mm-hmm. God love them. But I think we're tougher. Cheers. We are. I we think are we're so tougher. Tough. I think we've been through some shit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Speaking of ladies who've been through some shit. Yes. We have a fabulous guest. You want to oh, talk about Oh, my God. I mean, wait. And like, we. this is our first celebratory episode yes. of... Big name, bitch. What are you doing with your time? I don't know. We should do that every time now. All right, we're getting sassy. We're having these cute mocktails. I hope she likes my mocktail. Oh, she will. She's an Irish She'll certainly lie and pretend like she does. I'm sure. She better fucking do it. She's an Irish. She's a fellow redhead. I'm not really. She's a redhead. I'm not really. And look, 
Look, look, look how I you... married Rooney. My married last name, his Rooney. Oh, yes, you're right. Hopefully she can do a better Irish accent than we can. She should school us on all things. All things, Please. all things. And it's Kate Flannery. Mm-hmm. She's best known for her nine seasons. Wow. Impeccable seasons as the iconic Meredith, who's a drunk. You know? We know <laughs> yes, what that's yes, like yes. on The Office. You know, I've never heard of that show until yeah, like, God, you sounds know, familiar. I know there was like a BBC like, thing. Yeah, I you know, know, I think it's a I good show. I can't remember. And um, she toured the country, you know, mm-hmm. big deal, uh, as Jane Lynch's sidekick and her anti-cabaret act. Yes. Anti-cabaret. Let's yes, talk about that's that. that's clever, clever. Yes. And obviously she's, she's uh, iconic. She's iconic. She's I, here. I, I am so excited to For talk. our first episode. Yes, for our very first episode. We love you guys. We're very excited about you. If you don't follow us on social Social, go and do that because we're gonna we're about to get messy now. So we're gonna get so messy, so messy, so dirty. Bless your heart. I am so happy to be here with you. I'm so happy to be here too, Christy. We are just like several people, yeah. multiple personalities, and I love it. And I love it. <laughs> Yay! Oh, cheers! Cheers! We have Kate Flannery. Are we saying Woo! that? Correctly? <laughs> I think you are. Yes, you Kate nailed Flannery. It. Well, you know. Would you say it? Do you have any? Um, do you put any kind of Irish twang on it? Uh, are you uh, asking me to call up my uh, my grandparents and <laughs> imitate them? Is yes. that what you're asking? We yes. have a Ouija inappropriate. Board. Inappropriate. <laughs> How dare you, Cancel. Kate Flannery? God we bless us and save us. Our first episode. No. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Kate. We have so much to talk about. Of course, we're going to get into all things The Office. I if love, you don't mind. If what? Don't. Of course. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's nine I mean, years of my life. Loaded gun in a in a in a scene. It goes off. Exactly. Goes boom. I'm so excited to talk, to talk about all things office, to talk about, you know, all of your nudes and porn. No, <laughs> no, no, everything, everything. My nudes. parents are so proud. I was topless a lot on the show. Yes, you were. You, were. you really true. were. You were. Yes, yeah, she was. Girl they blurred it out. It's, uh, yeah. But um, we know you started in theater and uh, in Chicago at yes. Second City. Could yes. you tell us a little bit about that? Um, well, wait, is, is Second City considered theater? <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, it is. Live it is. Theater. Improv, for, yeah, improv for anyone theater. doesn't who doesn't improv know, it's theater. Okay, it's sort of like the groundlings in the improv theater of Chicago. It's where a lot of the SNL alum come yes, from. The all the best. It's actually pre groundlings. It's 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 been around since the late fifties. Excuse me. Interesting. So like you know, I mean, there's so many people like you know, Alan Arkin, um, Stiller and Mira, mm. um, Shelley Berman. Um, it's so many old old. Like, there's people that you throughout the forever in comedy that mm-hmm. obviously John Belushi, mm-hmm. uh, Gilda Radner. Mm-hmm. I mean, so mm-hmm. you know. Dan who? Bright. Just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> All these young Do you love Gilda Radner? Yes, I feel who does like, I know. Right? I, yeah. I grew up seeing her face everywhere in New York a yeah, lot. Uh, she, but she's like, fabulous. I, I have a friend named Jackie Tone who plays her in a movie, who plays her. Re- oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really hard. She looks just like her and sounds I, like her. I auditioned. In, I'm just kidding. Did you? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, this isn't about Jackie or Gilda. <laughs> it's about you. <laughs> yeah, also, I just wanted, we wanted to mention about red hair. Can we talk about red hair really Yeah, well, let's talk about theater first because yeah. oh, I, yes. want to, I want to talk about Chicago theater. Please. And the reason, why, sorry, I, we will get to red no, hair. No, of course. But the thing about Chicago, it was such a great place to start my career because I was a little too... No, I don't know why. I, I always wanted to be in New York, but I was a little intimidated. But my my aunt sent me a ticket to check out Chicago and Second City. She thought it would be a good fit. Okay. She was kind of like my Auntie Mae. Totally changed my life. My first night there, Jane Lynch was understudying for Bonnie Hunt, who was who had gotten married that day. And then Bonnie came back to do the improv set in her wedding dress. And Mike <gasps> Myers was in her wedding party. It was like the most, they all, all came back. It was, it was so insane. Oh, that was your first day. Yeah, that was the first time I ever was was there to check it out. And then I, I took class there and um, I worked in the touring company. But when I was there, it was, you know, I mean, we there they have different casts. Um, there's probably, I guess like, is it nine casts total? Eight or nine times. Um, and I feel like Steve Carell was like a senior when I was like a freshman, if you mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Stephen Colbert and- um, oh, I mean, who's Chris, who? Yeah, Chris Farley was just getting hired by SNL when I first started taking class. Oh, wow. Um, so wow. yeah, it was, and Tim Meadows was there. I, I love Tim Meadows. Yeah, he's got, and Nia Vardalis and Amy Sedaris. Like, it was like the Adam, uh, um, oh my gosh. Uh, Corolla? No, 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 no. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I just had a, a I need, I, you know what? I think drink I your mocktail. Drink. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. And let or, me know. By the way, do you feel like that tastes like tequila? Why are you mocking me? I thought this was a real cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> mocktails? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Dare you? you don't you know make fun I of love drinkers. you too much to disrespect you and tell you that's not, that's real. Mm. I, no, I appreciate that. It's still delicious. <laughs> mm. uh, Thank you. But not worth the calories now that I know that it doesn't shoot. Okay. Exactly. A, a good right. point. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just think that it's one of those things where I, I fell into such a lucky place, even though I felt like um, there were a lot of like almost, but like, I just feel like we were just, um, Adam McKay, that's who I'm like, oh, what's wrong with, yes. what's wrong with me? Yeah. And um, Joey Soloway, like so many great people that I got to work with. And 
um, and just kind of, I don't know, just kind of find our way. Mm -hmm. No one was famous back then. Mm -hmm. So you never knew who was going to pop. You right, know? And, right, right, right. Um, I could, but I definitely consider myself a late bloomer. I was also at the Annoyance Theater. I did tons of shows where we made fun of musicals. And because I had I had studied musical theater, I it was really fun to make fun of musical theater. It's really yeah. fun well, to make fun of yes, musical theater. It is, right? It's, it's fun to make fun of it, but I, I think you took it seriously at some point, right? Because you went to Chicago, to New York, and start on Broadway. Actually, I off Broadway, off Broadway, off Broadway. but yes, to be yes, honest, yes, yes. same thing. I mean, uh, it really is. Oh, and I'm, as somebody who's been on Broadway and off Broadway yeah. a lot, I find yeah. that the off Broadway theater is often far better than Ooh. what's on Broadway. Well, I'll tell you. I mean, it, we it was definitely more of a hustle. I actually moved to LA to do a, a play that ended up going off Broadway, so I went back to New York <laughs> in Valley of the Dolls. That's right. That's right. Oh my God, God you played right. Neely. And I was Neely O'Hara. Do you even know Hart. that is a perfect casting? Mm. Oh my God, it was one of my greatest experiences oh, in my life. Like I just had it was it was like. Rocky Horror Picture Show because mm. there were so many people in the audience. This was like, I call it like pre-YouTube theater mm -hmm. where a lot of the audience would just, they would kind of try to beat you to your lines because they knew this movie so, so well. well. I'm I, obsessed with Valley of the Dolls. Mm -hmm. I had heard like a while ago that they were going to try to do a feature film of it and like There's Nicole been, Kidman was a part of it. They've been this and, for years, mm, for years. Oh, I don't God. know why. Yeah, I just hope you so. want to do that. Uh, I, th I think I'm too old now, but that's okay. There's <laughs> well, a little line where like, you're, um, you're 26 and you look 36. <laughs> you know, and I mean, like, I, you know, yeah, that so was maybe, uh, maybe years ago. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we can put some Vaseline on the lens. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Oh, is that a trick yeah. they use? I got to use that. Yeah, Vaseline? Why? School. What does that do? I don't do? think you can do that. With it's not with filters. You don't need it. Exactly. It is a filter. Filters are the new. Yeah. I will tell you that my mom... I love my mom, but she recently. I love, she starts every sentence like this because she's going to say something shitty. There's a but. I love my mom, I love but. My mom, but she basically decided to come out of retirement. She's starting to date. And um, <laughs> she asked me to make her profile picture for her dating. She's 76. Uh -huh. And so she's like, hey, um, yeah, well, my dad passed away like five, six years ago now. And she's like, I, I'm, I'm lonely and oh, I want yeah, some yeah, companionship. Yeah. And so she, when she came to me and asked me about it, did she like, want you to use her your picture? <laughs> <laughs> so no, I mean, you know, there's some things I'm like, mom, what, you're saying how you know how old are you on that profile? Okay, you're saying like tube top. Is that true? What do you want? I mean, taking her wardrobe. She What's made me, she made me put a filter on her face, and so now she gets dates all the of time course, and whenever course. she wants the dates because of the filter. See, I have but. to tell you, as as a as an actor who I always felt like I never wanted to disappoint people by when I walked in the room. So I always felt like my headshots were not that good. Right. I'm serious. I always pick something like, oh, I don't want to be too good. I mean, things have changed. But, but I'm just, for most of my career, I'm like, I sort of have gotten away with like kind of representing un unpretty people. Because you know, the office is, but it's true. The office, we were, we were, it was a documentary. And like, I did yeah. not get a lot of makeup. I had really dorky clothes. I was mm -hmm. dressed like a kindergarten teacher, you know, like <laughs> an adult kid, I'm crazy, crazy. Did you ever have black and white headshots? I did. Remember that? I did. I did. And I, I remember I went to some glam guy and I was like, no glam. No, no glam. glam. Like yeah, was, yeah. Well, that's like, what they no, want. No. A real version of yourself. They want to well, know what this is true. Although, you know, I mean, although there's something in the middle that I, I hadn't quite found. But, you know, if I look at some some of my early pictures, I'm like, eh. It was kind of a prelude to Mer Mer Meredith. Uh, oh, I love that. that. Meredith, kind speaking of, of yes, Meredith, yes. the wonderful, wonderful Meredith that lives in you and will be with you forever. <laughs> how do you feel about this new, <laughs> right? I mean, no, the absolutely. chaotic, well, amazing also my, I don't know if you guys knew this, but my dad owned a bar in Philadelphia. So I feel like the, and I also was still waiting tables when I, Got the office. I was still. I, wow! Yeah, I'm I, so. I, tell we us were just talking about yeah, having yeah, you know, jobs. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I. This is the thing. I. I just felt like I'd had so many almost, and I'm like, I'm quit. I quit. I'm done. You know, and and <laughs> then I would sort of like have to find another job. And we did not get a guarantee. We only did. You know, there were only six episodes in the first season, and I wasn't in the pilot. I replaced somebody for the pilot, so I was like, "This is really squirrely." Like, especially you back replaced in, somebody, and back in two thousand four, two thousand five, when we first started airing, like they didn't do NBC didn't do six episodes. Like that was like that was kind of kiss of death. Mm -hmm. So everybody was like, Ugh. but then yeah. and the BBC, the original one, th three seasons, I believe. Well, they right? were right. doing. I feel like they, they didn't did do a lot of adaptations at that time. Episodes total. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that but that was you know again like that was sort of more the prelude to what's happening. Now. Everywhere now, right, right, right. Yeah. But I just felt like I just didn't want to, I didn't want to jinx it, yeah. and I, I so I literally covered my shifts during the week, and I worked my Sunday brunch, and then like as you were saying that there were people that would come in that would know you, uh -huh. or you know sometimes some of the, some of the directors would come in and they'd be a little condescending, like mm. eh, with a good heart, but still like what, what, mm. what are the names? What directors' names? No, we will, <laughs> we <laughs> will cut people for you. No, we are. No, no, no. I mean, I think that the, I think it's it's just an awkward thing, you know, yeah. and. 
And, uh, but then like our showrunner came in and he completely ignored that I was wearing a uniform. Greg Daniels was like, uh, we gotta talk because uh, totally. you improvised the word uh, vagina and NBC is not real big on that. So I'm fighting, I really wanna keep it in. <laughs> And it was like, I was literally like in the weeds and I was so happy to run it. And I love that he just completely ignored that I was well, like waiting on the rich and famous at the time. That's, well, that's the best reaction, didn't you feel it that It is, way? yeah, no, no, that was my favorite. Are you kidding? I yeah. mean, that's, it's just, it is what it is, you yeah. know? And then I remember waiting on friends of mine who became very famous and some of them would be like totally normal and some of them would be like, oh, you know, and I'm like, it's fine. Like, I didn't have a problem, they did. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, they, I, I wasn't uncomfortable, they were. Because at exactly. that point I'd made peace with it. I was like, look, yes. this is what I'm doing. Yes. It's fine, I'm still, you know, I, I was still doing my comedy lounge act, the lampshades. We were doing, like, you know, I was still, I was still working all the time. I just mm -hmm. wasn't quite making enough to mm -hmm. feel like, okay. Yeah. Maybe, let me ask an ignorant question. Um, yeah. Did you, were you doing like commercials on the side as well or no? I did time? some guest star right. stuff. Right, right, right. Um, I did a lot of voiceover and I did, I, like I was on the Bernie Mac show. Mm -hmm. I had, um, I was supposed yeah. to recur on a show called Boomtown. I played Neil McDonough's oh, yeah. secretary. And then the show, I got my second script and they're like, uh, we're canceled. Oh God. So yeah, yeah. So that it was had like a big a cult that. following Boomtown. I just it remember. It did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so there was a few, you know, and I, 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 so it wasn't like I was having a bad time. And when I was doing theater, I was getting great reviews. So it was like, you So know, like your bucket, your creative bucket was full. So yeah, like you didn't care felt, yeah. what anyone else thought. I sort of felt like, well, and it was right after 9-11, I was like, could I just live my life like this? Like, is this enough? And I was like, maybe it is enough. I could do. The pressure's know. off in, in some well, sort of way. Well, sort of, but it's also like, yeah, I, I mean, you take the pressure off, but it's sort of like what, you know, I always say this like to, to um, anybody who's an artist or anybody who's like, trying to get, make a dream come true. Can you live with the process? And also like, everybody's trying to get what you want, but do you want what you get? Yeah. And you have to like make peace with that. And it's, if you can't, then you either need to do something else because then you're miserable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you're desperate when you're in an audition because you're like, I need the money so bad. I'm going to get, you yes. know, and you're- And they know that they feel else. that energy. They know. Yeah, never yeah. And you're staring like, daggers at your friend who got the job and you didn't. Yeah. Smell the <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's yes. always like weird. You know, it's funny. I was, um, I was up for SNL um, back when I was in Chicago. Wow, um, oh, tell us about I that. Did at, they fly you out? And um, you know what, I, 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 I did not get to the last stage. I did not do the last class, okay, but I had the lunch with Lauren. Mm -hmm. He came to our show. Oh, you had the lunch with Lauren, lunch with Lauren. See, I know about these interviews. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got like the mask for the tape, and then they decided I was too much like somebody else. And I, but I, but my friend, actually two of my, we were doing a six person show, all female, and four of us got interviewed two at a time. Uh -huh. So you're like with your friend at lunch, which is always like, Fucking weird. Oh, that's so fucking Ugh, weird. I was actually so gonna ask you, was there a competitiveness? Second City was a little more competitive. And of course, like, you know, SNL was like, oh my God, because that was the that was the the prize everybody wanted. And it's just weird because literally in this six person show, uh, two of the four of us that were considered got it. So I was really, really happy for them. And like, thanks to therapy, <laughs> a lot ah! of therapy for years, like I could truly be happy for, you know, and also just kind of understand that like I had a different path and you know, it just took 13 short years after to get the office. 13 it's, short years. Which is insane. Years. It's, it's insane. True. Everybody has their own path. And if you start wanting what someone else is, it's like you don't want that person to want your stuff. Right. And yeah. also you see, I mean, I also think that SNL at that time was not the best for women. It was before oh, Tina Fey oh, was no. there. It, Remember, there was like, ever? there were some phases that were like, what is happening? Yes, what I do know. you mean? Experience oh, these me. women never had careers or like, and they were, uh, they the were skits? barely on the show. Yeah, the they were skits? barely on the show. And then they didn't have movies. Like they didn't get movies. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't get. Sky, skyrocket like Will Ferrell. Or yeah, I, I mean, it was right. like, there was, this was like the late eighties, early nineties was like, yeah. Yeah, even, lot, even, yeah, Molly to... Shannon talks about this in her book in Hello, Molly. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, how there weren't the same opportunities. I mean, that goes everywhere. It's, I mean, there still aren't, but yes, exactly. still, there's still an imbalance. But but it. at that point, it was like, really don't bad. even act, like, don't even think about it, honey. Mm -hmm. You know, there was definitely was that Men do comedy class. and that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Men, yeah. Men, men you're here for jokes. us to work off of or something. <laughs> right, and then like, I remember there was <laughs> even a series of sketches that Chris Farley and David Spade and Chris Rock and Adam Sandler did where they where were women. I'm like, what about the women on the show? Oh, no. I had two friends on the show. I'm like, why aren't you? Why, why the Utilize. drag? Yeah. yeah, and it wasn't even like it was it wasn't even like a two layer layered joke about like being in drag. Oh, it was interesting. Just like, oh, they, they were just, just working. They were just the gap. I remember it was like, that. It's I like, remember why? Those it's like Shakespeare, cool. Gwyneth Paltrow and Shakespeare in Love or something. Like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, and, so, so, and like why? 1990. Yeah, yeah and why? It's, it's, yeah. So anyway, it's sexism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Call that's it out, girl. Call it out. No, no, no. It's true. I mean, but I will say. You know, because of therapy, I got to kind of really say, well, at least I was acknowledged. Like to be in the running is to say like, hey, I see you yes. and you're on the right path. Oh, if you only, but only if the goal is SNL, but clearly like I have always had aspirations for for anything, you know, that makes me feel good, not makes other people feel good and where I get to really express 
myself. And also like as a kid watching TV in the seventies, like I loved Carol Burnett. I yes. loved Mary Tyler Moore. <gasps> there were so many great shows that featured women and also like great uh, sitcoms that had great finales. And I always wanted to be on one. And I go, and you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Like probably arguably the best TV show ever made. Yes. Yeah, so I just, so I feel like I was 40 years old when I got the office. And I just want to say like to anybody that's still out there, like just don't give up. You don't, don't, you know, it, it, people think like, oh, that ship has sailed. Like, no, just get back on the dock. Because even when I got asked to do Dancing with the Stars, I was oh, like, yeah, I remember yeah, talking about like four that. years ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm 55 years old. Are you kidding me? And I was so out of shape. I was like, oh my God, no cardio. And I had had, uh, my sister was really sick at the time and, and actually she was in the hospice. It was a really tough time. And they literally, like, I was like, I don't think I could do this, but it turned out to be the biggest gift. What, was it hard? It, seems it like was it's really so hard. I mean, it's more hours than they say, no, you sure. know, sure. and it accelerates very quickly. Mm -hmm. And also like the whole world is judging you. Oh, exactly. You know? exactly. And I was the oldest woman in my category because Mary Wilson was cut the first week, um, Mary Wilson from the Supremes. So all the other women except for me were in their 20s. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I had two weeks, I had a high score uh, two weeks and I was like, I felt like I was getting dirty looks. I'm like, work harder. You're younger than I am. You're crazy. You're half my age. <laughs> yeah. Why you give me? This, this, I love what you're saying about age. And dirty age. looks? Who gave you dirty looks? I'm just yeah. saying. Maybe a bachelorette. Girl, maybe not. A bachelorette gave you dirty look. You know what? Oh, interesting. What a shock. <laughs> I was listening to um, Darlene Love talking about this recently that, you you know, she didn't pop off because of 20 feet from stardom. She finally popped off at the age of 40. Same thing. Same thing. Right. So many people. Um, so many people, so many actors and actresses. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It happens. I think, I, by the way, I do feel like it definitely happens more for people who fall in line with character work. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, yeah, and, I and think I, you're almost too young to... to I would love pop. to yeah. be. I would love to be a character. I don't know what character I would try to master. Would you want to do character? Like, I think we are. I think yeah. the Disney Channel, I was a sidekick. That's a character. I mean, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, for sure. For sure. I, I never... And, we're getting and I'm a straight man. No, I, I think the older that. you get too, you're not playing, you know, La Laurie in Oklahoma, you're playing Ado Annie. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I think we or, or, or Ann Eller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, Ann yeah, Eller, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's so funny. Do you funny. prefer theater or TV? Or uh, I mean, I love them all for different reasons. Right. I mean, it's, it's, uh, TV is amazing. I, I, and I will say The Office was such a great teacher because I had come from theater and they would say like, you know, the director would, would be, or the producers would be like, do it again, but just like bring it down. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I just like learning how to deal with, you know, kind of mastering like this minimalism. Cause I felt like I, I got to do so much, so many like physical uh, comedic scenes. Mm -hmm. And also like, I also felt like my, my place was just to be this character, whether I spoke or not. So mm -hmm. sometimes I would get a laugh, even if, if I didn't have a line, I like they would that. cut to me and I was like, this is so interesting. Like, this is a weird, like it's, it's kind of a fantastic chess game that they, that they actually continued through the, I mean, I did have a few episodes where I talked a little bit more, but basically we never, I, I Meredith never became an expositional character, which is a bummer when yeah. you become an expositional character because then you lose your funny. Yeah. All of a sudden you're like a plot point person and it's like, man. Yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. funny. Yeah, it's like, it's, you're putting out this information and then you kind of lose what was appealing about you. And I get that some characters evolve when you're on TV for a long time, mm -hmm. but I think it's, it's kind of, it's a, it's just a drag, you know, because if you started out being funny and then all of a sudden you're just not. I always assumed that all of you were, I don't know why I thought this, maybe because of B.J. Novak, which I want to know, who, who, who's your favorite person to work with Ooh. in that cast? Oh. And you, were, you, you weren't you were writing on the show, but I always had this imagination that all of you were writing. No, I yeah. don't know why. Every once in a while we got to improvise and then, you, you know, line like here you and there. really worked, that, that you were really in this office as, as workmates. And I don't know, it was just so well done that I thought they can't just be actors. They have to be like the producers and writers of this too because it was so believable. Well, uh, the first season, uh, Greg Daniels, our showrunner, asked us to bring paperwork. He wanted us to look busy. He did not wow. want us to just like suddenly be busy when the camera hit right, us. Right, right, right. Like you had to be literally, it was a, it was a very, um, you know, very meta and, and, and a, in a, a medium that doesn't usually go there. Right. And he really fought for that. And, and I'm so glad he won because, you know, it was very foreign to NBC at the time, mm -hmm. you know. Very foreign. Well, and they also weren't doing a lot. Of, were they doing a lot of adaptations of like uh, uh, British shows at that, that time? Or is and that they were all first? bombing. They, they're all, all all the adaptations were like a you know like coupling and. Oh, I'm trying to think. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, Shameless yeah. was a hit, but Shameless was Shameless was they, single they, cam, they, and, and they also redid it. Like they they it was much funnier than the original because oh, the, the original they the British Shameless up. was yeah yeah yeah. It was a sexy who, show. who were you closest to in the cast? Um, God, I mean, we were all together in the same room every oh, day so for like nine years, so it's hard to pick. But like, I, I have to say, like, I mean, I I would go through time periods of time. You know, I Craig Robinson. Mm -hmm. um, <gasps> 
and sometimes Angela, sometimes Oscar. Like we, I don't know. We all, you know. Yeah, and we you had, still all talk today. I, I we do. Ask We're me so on thread. And I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> do you? We I, do. We have a lie. pleasurable experience. Yeah, yeah. I think I have time, to lie you know? so often. No, you sounds don't. Like, no, we we hilarious. we really. Did. I literally just got a, a text thread with like I, everybody's kids because um, Rain Wilson's son just graduated high school. So oh, we just got like a text thread of all these people's kids. It was so it was I so awesome. That. That it was so great. Good to hear. It was great. I know it's nice. I, sorry, yeah. do you have something? No, I have um, nothing. I just have this research. I have nothing. I, so I, I interrupted you. No, 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 I'm interrupting you. No, no, you. No, you. No, no you. you. What is it like this research? It's like, I feel like young people, Gen, Gen Z, are just now discovering the office for the first time. Is that exhilarating for you? It's are you the getting worst. I'm just kidding. It's the best. It's the best. <laughs> no, and it's so awesome because I feel like these kids are so smart. And it's so rare that you do a show that people still care about. Yeah. I mean, it's nuts. And they're, they're like ravenous. Yes, they are. I mean, it's not, like, I get recognized by the back of my head. I'm sure. It's just crazy. It's I, I'm crazy. sure you do all the time. And like, literally, sometimes people will stop their car and like, literally, I, that just happened yesterday. I'm like, that is not like an unusual occurrence these days. That's so, so cool. um, Does that make you feel good? It's nice. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's interesting. It just, again, like, it reminds me not to compare myself to other people because my path is so specific and there's so many great things about it. And I think we make ourselves miserable because you know we think we're supposed to get this and this or we deserve this and this and this. And I just think there's so many gems in you know what actually exists. And mm -hmm. getting older in, in Hollywood is not easy. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like if you have, so I just want to prepare you. Um, but you know, it's like sometimes people like they, they start doing a ton of right. plastic surgery, like myself. I've totally rearranged my face. What? Oh, I was like, uh, uh, no, I actually God. had more lines put in. Amazing. No, 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 no. I wasn't fishing, but I'm just saying like, there <laughs> is like a thing where people are trying to be who they were. Right. That they, they can't like move on. And, right. and I think that very few people survive that. Mm -hmm. Well, you actually make a really good point because we wanted to, I did want to circle back to the red hair thing yeah. and, and kind of lean into the fact that now we have a beautiful blonde bombshell sitting next to us when I feel like I've <laughs> always known her to have vibrant right, 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 hair. Right, right. And as we talked about, like, that's sort of the, for me, it was always the, that's the shortcut for casting. Like, hey, I'm funny. I, I, I'm a woman and, and I've got red hair, so I must be funny. Exactly. Well, hopefully I'm funny. Exactly. You know? But you're blonde. You'd be the straight person. Oh, but she's a redhead. So Did you know that if you have red hair in European countries, it means you're down to fuck? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the same hair. Oh, oh, that's just me. No, just <laughs> yeah. what? Exactly. Oh, no, just Does the hair match the drapes? No, no, really. I think it's like in Berlin or something. Are you sure this they, is a mocktail? It, okay. I, I mean, girl. I feel crazy. I tell you what, it, it's just the hint of, of alcoholism <laughs> in my glass. I was going to ask you what it was like when Steve Carell left. Was there a It was really like, hard. Was it? The morning that the announcement came out, I was doing a total like satellite press tour uh -huh. uh, from our office being Creed. And we, f and we found out from one of the, no. like literally we were like, uh. so <gasps> no. I, uh, so people, reporters were asking us immediately. And I was like, Oh my God, you gotta be kidding oh me. Oh my God. So I literally acted like the feed cut out. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't get that no. question. <laughs> That's funny. Like, That's funny. I was like, I, what am I going to say? I was like, uh, I don't know any details. And um, yeah. I can't imagine the show without him. I mean, you know, because he's, yeah. this is the thing about Steve. He was one of the best number one on the call sheet, because he made sure that the show was more important than he was, which is so rare. Yes. And a lot of, you know, especially on comedies, like a lot of these guys, they're go. very funny, but they hold everybody hostage. Okay. And like uh, Chevy Chase, from what I've heard. You don't have to yeah, say Yeah, no, I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't worked like with I'm him. actually but, best friends with Chevy Chase. <laughs> right, he's right, he's actually <laughs> in the bathroom. I told him, wait, wait, Chad. <laughs> Um, we're not drinking. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're doing cocaine. Um, no, no, no. Well, but, Chevy Chase would. Yeah. But there is like there are people that you know. I mean, again, like I, I feel like um, you you hope that that's less and less prevalent because of the culture, but mm -hmm. don't count on it. I mean, there's subtle subtle things that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How will you um, come up against a, a, a jerk? a guy who's got a sort of misogynistic way about him. He goes in the way, yeah. Yeah, how are you, how would you do how that? How much time you got? Um, I mean, uh, what do you do? No, I mean, us. what do you do? You, 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 you mean like in a work situation? Yeah, like for our listeners and viewers, like if, if, if they're put in a situation, we all kind of assume that, oh, every man is a feminist and every man like wants to like, I don't you know. assume that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's safe to assume, especially us folks well, who this is the thing. Anytime you're it. uncomfortable, you have to speak up, but also you have to listen to like what the deal is, because you know sometimes people are a little too sensitive too quickly. I, it, they get they. It's like you you. If I feel like you may, you can make it worse for yourself if you're um, 
if you don't have a little patience and a little room mm -hmm. for other people, right? Whether you agree with them or not, right? Right. Oh gosh, that's a sentiment for politics for everything in the world, and yes, yes for now everything. We, yeah. yeah, and and okay. I, but I think that there's a way to take care of yourself without necessarily like schooling everybody or or cutting your own throat in the situation. Because I feel like sometimes if you're too reactionary. You don't get what you want, and sometimes you get taken out of the situation. Mm. Yeah, you know, sometimes, you get taken out of the of the, of the gig. My yes. husband will tell me, like, "Hey, like, let's take the emotion out of this and just look at it. Like, feelings aren't facts. Like, that's in this is true. Feelings are not facts, and also feel like get the job done, and then uh, have you know, then you can give your criticism or your your you know, if you can, if you're comfortable enough. If you're super uncomfortable, you just got to get out of there. Right. You just got to go. I'm sorry, and you don't need to. No one's gonna. I, I feel like it's very hard to teach someone who's been doing something for a long time. You teach people by your actions how to treat you. You don't teach them by your words. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to lecture. You don't. You just need to be like, hey, you know that. Do we? Is there another plan? Like, do we, is there something else on the menu? Or this is the only thing offered? Like, I got to think about this. Or you know, if if you're really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 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 uh, claim your agency over your yes. like showing up. Like what you were saying about showing I'm, up. I love that. Yeah, you have yeah. so such words of wisdom. Who yeah. who inspires you to th think this way? Well, I think that. Um, um, I think there, there are so many women who have been through much worse than any of us in this room because they they had no choice. Right, I mean, right, right, things right. were worse. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've read, I, I do tend Carol to read. Burnett. Carol Burnett. I well, mean, yeah. Uh, yes. But it's so nice when she, you're, you're number one on the show, on your own show. She, her, her name was on a show. <laughs> yeah. Her husband was a producer. So I don't know, but I'm sure, you know, I'm sure she had her own um, uh, you know, uh, journey. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, whenever I, I'm just the t few TV shows I've done through Disney, um, I, every, every season that passes, you're so worried, you know, you have that downtime, you're on hiatus and you're hoping it gets picked up. Right. Did you know with the office that it was just so successful? Did you ever have those worries or maybe after Steve left, were you guys like, oh, it's not going to happen? Anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, it really wasn't until after season three that we were like feeling good. And then a I just remember a couple of years later, there was the, there was a strike. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, the writer's strike um, back in 2007, mm -hmm. a lot of people's shows did not get picked up. Right. Like, I mean, not not only did they not get picked they were they were they cut production and then they just canceled the show. Right, right, right. That's when the Kardashians happened. Yeah, oh, exactly. There and you that's know. what's happening right now, not necessarily with the Kardashians, well, but with the strike. Now, with the, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The that's why we're medium, here. Right? right? It's right? so fun. Well done. Well done, my Thank friends. You. Well done. Thank you. We, we did, did it. it. We you did, did it. it. I was going to say, Amy Poehler was one of the f a few people I knew from Second City and Improv Olympic Days who we worked on an independent film. I think she had just booked SNL, but I used to do, we used to do like um, these character nights at these different clubs in, in New York. And um, cause she used to, she used to do this character that was Andy Richter's sister. She used to do it on Conan before she got SNL, mm -hmm. but she would do a couple of different characters in these clubs. And so would I, and, and, I just always remember when I worked on this film with her, like she was so like, nope. And she was one of the producers as well. So mm -hmm. she gave herself permission to speak up if there was something that wasn't working. So, okay. but Come I, I felt like she, permission. yeah, no, she, badass. she, but I felt like she was kind of the director of the movie. It was a, a movie called Girls Gone Wild. No, Wild Girls Gone, which was a takeoff. Girl, there used to be the Never Girls yes. Gone Wild. Yes. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Yes. Gosh, I I oh my I God. I went to a party that. with that guy once. Ew. I went to his you guys, house. Yeah, I mean, just that for guy. people that the don't know that what that is. That's, yes. there's a, they were literally filming uh, and trying to get women to just Underage, show their show times. their boobs. Like mm -hmm. It was just like a flash video. Of, like, it was just, it. And they did it. And they did it. But a lot of times they would be already drunk. They'd be at Mardi Gras. Of course. And they got no money. And this guy made a ton of money. And they used to have late night commercials like... What? Girl, yes, girls gone really, wild. I, know. I cannot Ugh. believe I went to a party at that it's, guy's house. I cannot here in LA. believe that it was not that Gross. long ago. I know, you know it's crazy. Right? We're talking about Entourage and how problematic that show was. And yes. it's like, that show was not that long And Maxim and you know? FHM. Oh, like, I, I do think that we're moving in a good direction. Right no, 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 abs absolutely. But <laughs> yeah. again, like, this is why I'm I'm so, the problem with uh, cancel culture is that you want to know where the problems come from. You don't want to just, if you just cut any resource of any, this, like, there's a history that we can all learn from. Yes. And I feel so like, like if can, we, counsel, don't can, cancel, but also counsel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> counsel before you cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or You're just, saying keep perspective too. Yeah, I, and I think sometimes like there, we're so quick to act like this uh, should never have happened. And this is like the evolution of the culture. Mm -hmm. So like we should uh, it's anthropological, understand. right? It, it is, it's just it is. And, and I think it informs the future. And if you can call somebody up, but like, why don't we just make fun of them? Why do we have to like kill them? You know, why do we have to erase them? I know. It's like, why don't we just, seriously, I feel like there's more power in that, but that's just, you know. You're right, there is more me. power. And especially in comedy right now, where do you see the future of comedy? Yes, what's I, your future? My fear of comedy is that I, 
I don't know if you guys like remember that in the dark ages, <laughs> There was a whole. No, I'm 16. I wouldn't. I know, I'm sorry. Right? I'm so old, you guys. I was the dark ages. I was waiting tables in the dark ages. Yes. No, but during the dark ages, literally, um, there was a time period where they literally lost the ability to paint. Like literally, people were not allowed to paint, and then they, there was like a generation, like or two, that did not know. So they had to relearn it. That's why when you see um, in like art history, you'll see like um, a painting of like one of the. Like Jesus, and he looks like a dwarf, or something. he doesn't look like oh, a person. Oh yeah, it's like in the medieval, medieval times. Yeah, like, yeah so you're dark, dark, dark ages. ages. Yeah. It literally in the dark, dark ages. ages. They lost yeah. the pain. They and lost the ability to do that, so they had to relearn. So my fear is that we're going to lose the the ability to do comedy, and we're going to have to start from we scratch. Holy shit! Well, I'm you'd afraid be, you'd be a wonderful teacher. <laughs> oh my god! Like, you know and the <laughs> office will uh, exist oh, in digital course. format, one way or another, and it will it will persist, and it will. Teach well, people. I have to say, like, I love the fact that young kids, like, they are so smart. The ones that really get it, like, they they understand the subtlety of it, mm-hmm. and they. And they get it and the they're- nuance. Yeah, and the, I also feel like being in an office is much like being in a classroom where you're all in the same room, your desk is next to someone you're you didn't pick. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. There's, there's, the like a, there's a boss that, you know, who's like a teacher that yeah. you didn't, you know, once yeah. again, like you have to deal with them. You cannot work around them. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> yes. So well, we yeah. have some, you've been an amazing guest oh and God. we're very excited so much, about our rapid fire funny questions. Okay. Although you don't have to say them in that quickly if you need a second to say <laughs> We say rapid fire, but there's some of these questions are difficult. It's like rapid fire. Who makes you who? You. Who makes you you? Um, what was your last Google search? Rapid fire, go! It, oh my God, okay, you yes. guys, you guys. I, I literally exactly. I Google both of you. Exactly. No, that's exactly. great. A uh, hidden talent. Ooh. Um, I play the piano, but usually not for anyone to look at. <laughs> I love yourself. That. Guilty yes. pleasure. Those CBD gummies. I don't do them anymore, but boy, that was like... You guys, that's a guilty CBD pleasure. gummies are fantastic. They're, they're I love that dang. you're like, you're like, you don't do them anymore. Just, I, I, I had to draw the line. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah I was they're like, they're they're gummies. Like, they taste, that, they're, they're weed they're, gummies. Sweet. Weed gummies. Yeah, but they're, but they're, they're legal. CBDs. They're not, yeah, it's not oh, they're weed. They're not real not CBD, weed. right? No, they, they don't have any THC. THC. They don't have the THC, but still. I take those. But still, like, I start, I eat too many because it's like candy, so I can't do it anymore. So that's And then you're like this. Honest to God, I'm like, yeah, I'm, they work really well. Yeah, there's one called Calm. I'm like, I'm a little too calm. <laughs> You're like, like not good. if the plane was going down, right? I mean, would not get my uh, my uh, uh, my flotation device. I'd be screwed. <laughs> uh, w- would your 12 year old self think you were cool? Maybe. Although I feel like my 12 year old self wanted to be an Annie. And the original, I wanted to tour in Annie, and my mom oh would let me audition. Oh, why? And, and I, you know, well, also, well, I, I did. <laughs> oh, you did? Bitch. Of course, you, oh my god, Bitch, hilarious, no, hilarious. No, give us your I'm best. Just oh my give god, us your best please, tomorrow. I was Molly. Oh my god, you were. I was, I, you I was too young to be Annie. Of course. Oh my god, that's no. uh, I don't, I Molly's, don't Molly's make the it best. About me. No, if people are going to roast me in the comments. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely, I just take my chin and grill and say. I, do, 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 do. I imitated the crap out of Andrew McCardle, and then I ended up, oh, wait, I ended up getting to know her. You actually oh, really you? do. What's she like, like? Andrew she, McCardle? Uh, Andrew. She's great. You know, I mean, she, she had the biggest job of her life at thirteen. Yeah, so I, 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 she's she's great, but she, I feel like she she is, she feels like she's required to always to be that person, mm-hmm. you know. And I I get it. Like yeah. I mean, literally, Michael Jackson and the Beatles, like I, they all came to see her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, wow. I mean, it's like it's nuts. Like yeah, she had. Yeah. Yeah. So she she's amazing. I just saw her show at, at Catalina a few months ago. And she's oh amazing. God, I, love you. I know she was. But well. I was totally obsessed. Yes. Yes. I and I auditioned for our local uh, a variety show in Philadelphia, Al Albert Showcase, and it was like. 1978, so everybody was singing Annie, and I was like, I'm gonna sing it the best. I did yeah. not make it on the show, but you know what? I'll show you, Al Albert. You sure <laughs> freaking just wait until I'm 40 years old. I'm gonna be on a show that you never heard of, and I'm gonna play somebody that gets hit by a car and is a Use drunk. Use it. Before, Use before we it. go, Kate, okay, what's next for you? Anything you wanna plug or tell us? Uh, I'm, I'm on a, a, a Disney Plus cartoon <gasps> called Kiff. It's actually on Disney Channel. Oh, Kiff, Kiff is great. Yes. Welcome to we the family. family. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, so I play I play Agnes. Yeah, um, yeah oh, the, I, I, I run that. the uh, Wish Wash Laundromat. Um, if you uh, lucky to two washes, you. you get a wish. Uh, yeah, it's it's so fun. No, no, I love it. And then um, I'm do I'm I'm going back on tour with Jane Lynch. Uh, Are you? For Christmas? We're doing like twelve cities. We did a Christmas album together. Um, oh my god, like seven years ago, called mm-hmm. Swinging Little Christmas. You can it's on Amazon. You can but you can it's on Apple Music. You can get it everywhere, everywhere. But we're playing Joe's Pub for three shows, and we'll be in. 
Boston and uh, Chicago. Well, we're going to be, yeah, go, go to Jane Lynch Official. We're, we tour every year. And we have a non-Christmas show that we've done as well that we have did at the Carlisle um, <gasps> right before COVID. I yes, yes. Carlisle. So we oh, do, oh, we I do. Bet. She's a little Sue Sylvester and I'm a little Meredith. It's like she's a little bit like the nun cracking me on the knuckles and I'm kind of like the sheepdog knocking everything over. But we, <laughs> so we're like in a sister act because we're, we're both Irish and, uh, yeah, but you know, we sort of have a similar, you know, yes. and yeah, so we, we have, the, and we have the best band ever, the Tony Guerrero Quintet. They're insanely, insanely oh talented. Oh, yes, we gotta go. We'll we gotta go. go. Yeah, yeah. We, we go. love you love so much. Oh my gosh, you Thank guys. you so for much. being our first guest yes. on Big, Big Name, Name Bitches. Bitches. We are really so honored that you could come and make the time for us. We Thank love you, you guys. So you guys are so awesome. No, You're seriously. And I just, I give you so much credit because I think at, being an actor at, as, at a young age, it's so hard to navigate the world after that. And I just feel like, because sometimes people laugh at your jokes and you're not funny. And guess what? You have to bomb to be funny. You know what yes, I mean? It's like, yes, yes, yes. And you have to. But I just, I love that you guys, are like, you keep you keep coming up. You, you understand the process. Mm. And I'm just, I just want to say I'm really proud of you because I know it's not easy. Thank and you. people don't give you enough credit. I, I feel like you're, you're always giving it. To yourself, that's all we care but, about. No, seriously. <laughs> and you keep evolving as artists, as actors, as human beings. And I'm, I'm so glad you're doing this. So thank you. That, that means means a lot because I'm, I'm a huge cry. fan. Thank you so much, No, Kate. it's true. Seriously. It's true. And thank don't you. listen to other people. Listen to your heart. Listen exactly. to your dreams. Keep following. You have another, you have many, many, many chapters. Exactly. Many chapters. Thank you. Thank we you. We did it. I hope the viewers are listening to that too. Yes. It's so true. It thank applies to everyone. Wise words. Yes. And it's go true. follow, uh, please go follow Kate. And yes, Kate at, at the real Kate Flannery on um, uh, Instagram or at Kate Flannery on uh, Facebook and um, Twitter. And Twitter. Does Twitter still exist? I know, right? Yeah, I was, I was like, is she going to say TikTok Today. or the tw- what tea? What tea is going to come out? <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys, so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again.